Oops. Hey, Sam. Howdy. How are you? I'm good. How was the rest of your day yesterday? I have no idea. I completely <laughs> lost track of when things happen. <laughs> First thing we should do is open up more space. So a, a command that you'll probably do constantly going forward is using spotlight. Spotlight is command space. You're probably going to type command space a hundred times a day. Okay. That's definitely my most used command because instead of finding the thing going through menus, it just jumps directly to it. It's just yeah. like the, the shortcut to everything. Um, so search for system preferences. Yep. Perfect. Go to dock and menu bar. There it is. You can also, uh, so when you type in DOC, you can press down on the arrow key. Down. Uh, yep, there you go. Return. Perfect. Go ahead and one of the settings there, minimize, automatically hide and show dock. It's down a little bit. It's one of the unchecked boxes. Yep. So that gives you about 10% more space on the bottom. Yeah. And also click automatically hide and show menu bar at the very bottom. And if you want to access it, you just move your cursor to the very top uh, or the very bottom of the page, and then they pop out again. I actually have my dock disabled entirely. So that you yep. can't click on things and you just got to things with yep. your keyboard. Basically, anytime you go down to the dock with your cursor, it's a failure mode. And so trying to just always do things through spotlight and through uh, through commands is really a good one. Let's do um, it. Let's disable my doc. I'm off. All right. <laughs> all right. Here's the command. Yep. Press return. Great. And now if you go to the bottom of your screen, your doc will not appear. Okay. That'll be an adjustment, but. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, open up Chrome or whatever browser you're using. and do a search for rectangle app. It's probably what it's called. Yep, there it is. Go ahead and download okay. that. Click on that second option there. Yep, that shows you what your shortcuts are. So you got control option left and control option right. So go ahead and close this screen and then do control option left. There you go. Ooh, okay. Yep. Go ahead and um, click on that and to record it. Yep. So click on that and do Control Option Up. Control nope. Option up. up. Or maybe it's because it's recorded somewhere else. Go ahead and cl you click on the X on the top half, which is on the left. Oh, here it's because yep. this is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And actually, why don't you exit out all of the other ones? So just, you don't want to have these shortcuts. Yeah. So you just need left half, right half, maximize, basically. Those are the only ones you'll probably use. Yeah, I so, don't need that of that, right? Yeah. You probably don't need top left either. So you can get rid of those two. And you don't need maximize height. You don't need any of those. So you basically just need left half, right half, maximize. Yeah. If you end up finding these are useful, you can add shortcuts back in. Okay. Uh, go ahead and close this, which is Command W. And then... Uh, Move this to the left, control option left. You may need to click on it in case it's not active. Okay, yeah, yep, that's there you go. <laughs> yeah, and then control option right. Now, now make it full screen. There you go. Cool. Right. Go ahead and open up system preferences. Yep, great. Okay. Yep, perfect. And I think you could just do command F to open up search within that be my guess yep and then search for um mission control there it is unselect automatically rearrange spaces yep so do command f and search for gestures trackpad gestures there it is do more gestures turn off launchpad Turn off show desktop. You're not going to need that one either. Okay, so now close this, which would be Command W. Now take three fingers on your trackpad and go up. Whoa, very yep. cool. Okay. Yep. 
So this is something you're going to want to do. I generally have four desktops. On the very top right, you can see a plus sign. Yes. Yep. Click on that uh, maybe three times. So you have four desktops. Oh. Yep. Perfect. Drag superhuman to one of them. Yep. Drag uh, notion to a different one. Cool. Now click on the notion one. What you can do to switch between desktops is three fingers uh, across. Yeah. So do spotlight. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do mission control back down. So three fingers down brings you back to your normal desktop. Yep. And now do three fingers across to bring it back to Notion. Oh, this way. Yep. Oh. This is just a really easy way of keeping things organized in that way because you have different information in different spaces. And you can have as many desktops as you want. Hypothetically, if you wanted to have Superhuman open, you could do Control Option Left, and then you could open up Threads in Chrome, and you can have Threads open on the right, and you can just have things next to each other. So now let's switch over to Superhuman, which is right over here. Yep, perfect. Um, another thing we'll want to do, this is just a, it's a way of reinforcing using things like Spotlight and not using the user interface as much. Um, I'll add this to the chat. This command will disable your desktop. Copy that, uh, that command that I just shared. Got it. OK, now open up Terminal. So that would be open up Spotlight, Terminal. Yep, cool. And go ahead and paste that in. Cool, press Return. All right. And that hides your desktop. I, I can give you the command to re-enable desktop if you want it. But um, getting in the practice of not using your desktop, like I can show you my desktop, which is there's nothing on it and it's just black. It's like a, it's a void. And it helps because the, the default thing that people are used to is like you get a file and you like drag it to your desktop and then you drag it somewhere else. And getting used to opening up your desktop as a folder. So doing command space desktop. Yeah. Yep. Uh, which would be the folder down a little bit lower. Yeah, I think this is, I feel like I never actually go to my desktop to grab things. I'm always going to yeah. the folder itself anyway. So yeah, I, right. agree. I feel like I don't need it. One, one other very easy, quick thing. It looks like you already know how to do screenshots, which is command shift four, right? Yep. Um, did you know that you can also do command shift four and then hold control while you do it and just take a screenshot of your desktop, but before letting go, hold control. Okay. Oh, hold control while I'm taking a screenshot. Yep. Got it. Yep. Okay. Hold control. There you go. And then go to notion or something. Over yep. Here. Yep. And then just like go to the bottom of this dock and press paste. So command V and it automatically copies to your paste bin whatever you oh, nice. screenshotted so you yeah. don't have to like do the screenshots oh my god go this to your desktop okay yeah, yeah i will use this all the time okay cool that's a pretty handy shortcut that that's i use all the one. time it saves you like 10 seconds every time which people often take a lot of screenshots okay. so yeah. it definitely adds up i think those are some those are some like quick quality of life things those are the things yeah. that i probably use multiple times every day so right now, my, uh, my Notion notes are on the left side and my, uh, my Zoom window is in the middle. So um, that helps to just quickly orient things and using yeah. Spotlight for stuff. So uh, it also gives you a lot more space on your desktop and having multiple desktops is also really helpful because you don't get, you don't lose track of where things are. I remember when I did this with Casey, she had at least 10 windows in the same desktop and she had yeah. a hard time finding where things were. So it's like adding more desktops when needed. Sometimes I have five or six, depending on how many projects I'm working on. Um, so just getting used to that multiple desktop thing is, is a really helpful thing. Yeah, this is great. Cool. Okay, awesome. Well, that's, that's probably a good start.